All right, guys, the time has finally arrived because a classic weapon is back in action. Yo, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look and breakdown on these bad boys right here. This is the actual Converse weapon, not whatever those other ones were that we reviewed that were very close along the upper and super nice, but then they had this chunky bottom that was not like the original. But Converse went back to the drawing board and they actually recrafted the entire shoe top to bottom. Supposedly, these are more accurate than any other release outside of the original. So for that, Big thank you to Converse for sending these over, by the way. You're awesome. I don't know if this is the original box or not. You guys can let me know if you are an OG and you're actually here uh, checking out the video first off. Hey, what's up, man? Nice to see you again. And uh, thank you for being here. But I'm going to have to rely on you guys to teach me about these things because I don't know a ton about them. So with that being said, this traction right here looks like it's going to work really well. Supposedly, this whole shoe has been, again, retooled or recrafted back to the original tech specs. However, this is the part where I'm really confused with the history of things because when I look up original images of the shoe I see multiple different versions of it so I see versions that look just like this with this type of tooling and this type of outsole however I see also that Magic and Bird had player editions or PEs where their tooling is a much lower profile sitting cup sole with a different tread pattern altogether so I don't know if they were getting like special pairs maybe they were like hey we don't like the chunky thick bottoms can you fix that we all know that when you're a star athlete at a brand you can actually do something like that and they'll work with you and get you what you need I don't know if any of those actually released at retail because if you see this picture right here this is an original released shoe in more of a team kind of colorway and again the tooling looks very similar so I don't know what the deal is all I know is that I'm just relaying the information that these are supposedly made more like the original than any of the others but again the outsole looks awesome it's kind of like herringbone but kind of not because it's all separated so it's not one continuous groove line but it is still that chevron pattern alternating which gives you tons of grip on the court then moving on up we have a cup sole right here rubber cup sole this is very standard especially for the 80s we saw shoes like the converse pro leathers obviously the air journal one we saw many adidas shoes like the uh, centennials so a lot of these shoes had cup soles in the 80s some of them had wedges inside that were made out of a softer foam like an eva or a polyurethane i don't know if that's actually inside here all i know is that this is a very thick midsole so i'd be surprised if there wasn't some sort of a foam wedge inside there and the insole itself is actually a nice polyurethane insole so for those of you guys that are sticklers for quality insoles like myself I think you're gonna be very pleased with these <laughs> Now the upper is where things really shine. Obviously you've got leather everywhere and I must say that the leather done here is done really, really nicely. So it's all super soft, super supple leather. There's not a single piece of leather on here that isn't like a quality feeling type of leather. So I really like it. You can see it a little bit with some of the white grain and stuff like that. Some of the panels are a little bit more textured than others. The cuts are also a lot thicker than something that you would see on say a general release Air Jordan 1, even though they are like an Air Jordan 1 high OG, which usually gets a little bit better quality but uh, this right here just feels a little bit thicker than a lot of those and then as far as the design is concerned obviously this colorway is exclusive to fragment and everything I don't, I'm not saying that they're going to be exclusive I'm just saying that this color is a fragment designed colorway it's not an original however we did see some originals in that movie air which we actually talked about by the way if you guys want more basketball or even just sports related movie reviews I don't know what you would call them I'm not a movie guy I'm a movie guy but I'm not like a movie review guy commentary over coffee casually <laughs> you just want it to be a commentary or you know just like hey we just watched this movie here are my thoughts like I'm not gonna do a whole thesis paper on it or anything well I just know that like that movie for me anyways was relevant however I know there's a lot of like great basketball movies that you just haven't seen like did you say that you did not see white men can't jump is that what we talked about the other day yeah because there's a new trailer for that new movie and then I was just like yeah looks okay but whatever there's nothing like the original and she was just like i've never seen it like, what so if you want something like that let me know i thought you'd never ask 
But anyways, like I was saying, this is not an original colorway. We did see some of the originals in the movie Air because that was part of the pitch. They were just like, yeah, you could be wearing one of their shoes. And Michael was just like, nah. So I think that's really dope. However, are they gonna release original colorways? Honestly, I don't know, but at the same time, I wouldn't put it past them because why would you recreate this and not? I would expect if you don't like these, just be patient. You should see a Lakers colorway, a Celtics colorway. Even in the original ads, there was like white and reds, there was white and grays, very much like what we see with Air Jordan 1s. So if you're looking for something like this, just be patient, it'll come. <laughs> A couple of weird features on the shoe. Uh, one's weird, one's cool. I'll go with the cool one first, which is their Y bar, which you can actually see in the upper and everything. That was a support frame piece. Back in the day, there wasn't fly wire with knitted strategic support panels or fuse. It is obviously heat welded in strategic areas for support to make as panels. This right here was all you got. You got layers, you got design, you got depth. It was awesome. That's what these toe rands are all about too. It's just extra reinforcement. Like if you were gonna go and look at something like the Air Jordan 10, which I know looks really plain compared to something like this or something from the 80s or even earlier 90s. But when you see the mudguard panel, that like little like wave, that's a support panel. It's just there to help keep you on the footbed. So this toe ran, same thing. The Y bar, same thing. This collar area, by the way, is puffy as I'm talking about like skate shoe puffy. So that's another thing is that some of the original images, I can't tell if it's just because they're worn or angles or something, but this shoe looks a little puffier than, than maybe it should. Maybe it should be a little more slim or tapered. But again, I'm really gonna rely on you guys that were here back then that were older than three to let me know because I just don't know. Now, one of the things that I think is weird is the back area right here. There's no, there's no heel counter. You do sit inside the midsole just a little bit, but I don't see that being enough to be like a true heel counter. If you look at this picture, Larry's stressing the f out of those shoes. So maybe that's just what it was, I don't know. Now the tongue you would think would be nylon. Uh, it feels more like a vinyl material. I do know that the, uh, I don't know, what, you, what, what would you call these? They have a name, I'm sure they do, but whatever that little lace thingy is, it's always stitched on a lot of tongues. That thing is leather, but it doesn't feel like the actual tongue is leather, but I could be dead wrong. There's too much leather. I can't smell anything but leather, so I don't, I, I don't know. My guess would be vinyl, but I could be wrong. The tongue tab, though, looks awesome. And then an extra bonus would be that they also come with three sets of laces. So obviously this particular colorway comes equipped with the black lace, but it's also got these off-whites that kind of match the rubber cup sole because it's kind of a sail color, but not super sail. And then we also have a white lace that again matches just kind of like the leather upper and everything. Now as far as sizing is concerned, you can do one of two things. You can go true to size. You should be good to go. However, they do feel like they're a little bit long, so some people might want to go down half a size, but just keep in mind that this toe shape right here is very slender so when I do move my foot all the way up to the toe just to kind of see how much room I have in the back there you can feel this weird shape right here like kind of pushing your toes into that shape so going true to size would probably be the best option but if you have a super narrow foot and stuff like that then you might want to go down half a size just to save yourself some room just to let you know yeah. it's called a fixed tongue loop or just a loop it's that simple? Yeah. It's just a loop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you learn something new every day. I'm wondering if it's to differentiate from like, say An what's island? on, no, I'm saying like on the sixes where you can open it so it's not a fixed tongue loop. Because mm. I mean, technically you're feeding your laces through there if you want to. So what would be just a slit, like a Jordan 1, it's just a cut? I believe that's a fixed tongue loop as well. Now, as far as the release date is concerned, I believe it's going to be May 11th. As far as the retail price is concerned, that's something that I just don't know yet. For whatever reason, we have not heard any more information outside of that. The release is coming soon though, so I would hope that the retail price is announced fairly soon. If we get any more information once this video is posted, we will put it down below in the description box along with links and all that kind of good stuff. And with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully you're celebrating the Converse weapon is finally back the way that it should be. And also, if you have any other information that I literally don't know about this shoe, please leave it down below in the comment section. Uh, I would love to learn more about these. I couldn't find much uh, information outside of the old ad campaigns and you know old ads and old eBay listings and stuff like that. Like it, there just is not a ton of information, which is one of the biggest bummers to brands disappearing. Even though they're still around, it's just that when they don't become mainstream, nobody talks about them, and so there's no writing 
nothing, there's no articles, there's no news, all that stuff. So when that happens and you start to lose, like as generations go on, and this is like a forgotten relic at this point. Adults in the 80s are kind of old now. You need an ofrenda for the... What the f*** is an ofrenda? <laughs> Isn't that what they call it in Coco? You have to get your picture up on the ofrenda, otherwise you'll be forgotten and just... <sighs> I'm just hoping that you're right because if you butchered their culture. <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> so, sure it's called an ofrenda. Look it up real quick. An ofrenda is the offering placed in a home altar during the annual and traditionally Mexican Dia de los Muertos celebration. Okay. You need to put the weapon on your ofrendas, people. I got my ofrenda <laughs> back there, okay? And all of those are just friends of mine. So uh, I'm gonna add these back there and hopefully everybody enjoys because I think that they belong back there with all the other classics. Uh, but again, thank you guys so much for everything. Thank you so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. We will catch you guys on the next one. So until until then, have a good one.